Hey friends, got a question here. Does an LLC operating agreement need to be filed with the state? We've got our Lay Roots business expert here, Shreya Lay, and she's gonna run us through this amazing question. Shreya, do you? No, you do not. Um, I think a lot of people get the operating agreement confused with the Articles of Incorporation or Certificate of Formation. It depends on the state you're in, what it's called, but they're not the same thing. And your operating agreement does not need to be filed with the state. However, whew. wait, did I whew too soon? However, sometimes it can be helpful to put certain parts of your operating agreement on file with the state. Ooh. Yeah. So for instance, with um, series LLCs, a lot mm. of times you wanna put certain provisions from your operating agreement and file that with the state. Or there can be other reasons, like let's say you have like a lot of members of your business, that's not usually our clients. Our clients are usually pretty small number of members for their business. We're partners, but sometimes if you have a lot of people involved, you might want to file it with the state so everybody can can see it and it's official. Interesting. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I learned something today. <laughs> Good. I thought the answer was just going to be nope. Yeah, it's usually no. And for the kind of work we do, we typically don't recommend people file their entire operating, it's operating a, agreement it's with a the state. It's a private agreement. Yeah, it is a private agreement. Well, I'll tell you what, Shreya, I'm gonna jump in here and throw a little knowledge out there. All right, do it. There is somebody who you will file your operating agreement with. Who? The bank. Oh, yep, that's Typically, true. Uh, these days, banks are requiring you to present your operating agreement to open a banking account. Yeah. It wasn't always this way. No, it wasn't. In fact, there was a time when they started being really annoying and they would be like, hey, we know we opened this account for you years ago, but please give us your operating agreement. Yes. And I was like, nope. <laughs> but you know, in some cases, um, you know, like a, a single member LLC or uh, I guess even those with partners might have a verbal operating agreement. Yeah. Like it doesn't have to be in writing. Ooh, so how are you going to file that? Right. That's verbal. Yeah, a lot of especially the single member LLCs that we help, uh, when they come to us, they don't have an operating agreement. It's all in the word. Mm-hmm. All in the word. But yeah, it might be helpful to take some of those provisions from the operating agreement and file those with the state. But it kind of just depends. Well, thanks for sharing that with us today, Shreya. Yeah. If you found this video helpful, how about you subscribe? Get notified when the next video comes out. And speaking of the next video, stay tuned for our segment of People yeah. Also Ask. Got any questions yourself? Throw those comments throw those questions down in the comments below. And see you very soon.